Hello everyone, welcome again to another TestLodge tutorial. So in the previous tutorial, I have explained how you can add other requirements in any project in TestLodge. So we have created the requirement document login module and registration module so that we can categorize our requirements based on the modules of an application, right? So login module will have all the requirement or user stories which fulfill the login functionality of the application registration module will have the requirements that are relevant to the registration of the application or within the application right now if i go to the testing life cycle we have covered the requirement module of the test lodge tool now the next phase in the testing life cycle is the test planning phase phase now, if we go back to the test lodge, you will have the test plan phase as well or test plan module in test lodge. So if I go to the test plans, you can create test plans in the test lodge. So to create a test plan, simply click on new test plan. And as soon as you will create a new test plan, you will see that you have to provide the name of the test plan. And then you have different options or type of test plan that you want to create so either you can choose the template which is the predefined template that comes within test lodge so it is a suggested test plan structure that will be created for you if you want to create a blank test plan then simply click on blank and a blank test plan will get created right so in the test planning phase there are a lot of things that you do so let me uh, go ahead and create a template test plan and then I'll go through the test plan that is that gets created into test plan test lodge now let me give the name of the test plan as rcv app test plan and then simply click on add test plan to add this particular test plan once I'll click on add test plan you will see that the test plan has been created and there are 15 test plan areas okay now at the top you will see the you know this this particular section is available in almost all the modules of test lodge which gives the brief overview or the high level picture of what exactly is available in this particular test plan so for example if i talk about this test plan this the name of the test plan which is what is the identifier of this test plan and then if there are any associated test suites that will be shown here when it was created when it was created and then when it was updated right so all these details are available if i go to the requirements you click on requirement module you'll get something similar information right so this is very handy when you want to look or at the high level picture of the uh, any module in test lot so let's go to test plan so this test plan got created if i click on this test plan you will see these are different areas that get created right so usually in the traditional approaches you had the test plan document which has certain key sections that are available in the that particular test plan and previously when we used to have the waterfall approach or the v development approach uh, then we had these uh, you know word documents which had these sections of introduction what test items you want to what what basically uh, user stories or the requirements you want to test then what what features are need to be tested what features doesn't need to be tested so all those uh, things need to go into features not to be tested what is the approach of your testing right which goes into the approach then you have pass fail criteria suspension resumption criteria for the testing similarly you have a lot more sections around deliverables tasks so this all is being captured or being provided to you once you create the test plan template while creating a test plan into test lodge you can create a new content area so for example there is a new content that needs to be added as part of your test plan you can simply click on new content area you need to provide the new test plan content and then say for example here uh, i think staffing and training needs is already there but i'll simply just to um show you how you can add the new test plan content so for example i want to add a test plan content as testers 
uh, you can specify the content here and simply click on add content area if you want to add another simply check this box add another and this window will keep open uh, unless you uncheck it so i'll uncheck it and i'll add content area and you can see that new content area testers has been added right now within this particular uh, area i can add all the description into the content section as we used to do in the uh, traditional test plan which is the word document test plan so we have the test plan within which we define uh, what all approach or item pass fail criteria so i can simply go to that particular section edit it and now i can specify the pass fail criteria and save changes in this particular test plan so this is how we'll be creating the test plan from the template into test lodge and will be adding the new content area so we, we can add new content area we can delete the existing content area so for example i don't want this testers content area i can simply click on these three ellipses here and click on delete this content area i'll say okay and that content area will get deleted if i want to change the sequence if for example i want test deliverables after testing tasks I can simply drag and drop these sections and the sections will be uh, the sequence of the sections will get changed accordingly right so this is a brief introduction about how you can add the test plan into test lodge and how you can edit the different sections of the test plan within uh, within that particular test template in test lodge and also how you can delete the sections that are not required into your test plan now let's go back to test plan and here in this particular section you will get all the list of test plans if for example uh, one particular project can uh, have multiple test plans right so you'll have a master te test plan and then there'll be a separate test plan for each small releases or phases so if i want to rename this test plan to some something else i'll simply click on the ellipses click on edit title and say for example i want to say it our cv app uh, master test plan all right and simply click on save changes then if i want to add another test plan and select the blank test plan template so i'll say uh, phase one test plan right these are just the dummy names that i'm using so just to explain you how you can create a different test plans there so that phase one test plan got created and now with this blank test plan you will see that you have to start adding the new content area because there is no template selected so you have to start adding the content area that you want to add in this particular test plan right if i go back to test plan i'll see all the test plan in this particular project on this particular screen if i go back to the test plan here there are some more options available for the test plan if you click on the ellipses in the right hand side you can copy this particular test plan so for example you don't want to create a test plan from scratch you can copy the existing existing test plan and then modify the required details as per the new test plan if you want to run the associated test cases so you can associate the test cases with the test plan which we'll understand in later tutorial you can run associated test cases from here itself now because this test plan does not have any associated test cases uh, that you are you are getting this particular error now let me get go back and then the third option is basically to export the test plan so i you can export the test plan to a csv or as an html format so exporting the test plan will export all the details of the test plan that you have documented here into different format or export formats that are available so this is all about the test plan what all features are available in test plan and how you can work with test plans in test lodge so that's all for this tutorial hope you like it please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching